This is a zucchini called Rampicante. And as you can see, they get quite big. But this isn't even the biggest I've grown in my garden this year. I'm about to harvest that one right now. Come on. <laughs> the biggest ram picante I've ever grown. <laughs> and for scale, let me pick up the other one. A little bit bigger. <laughs> I want to tell you more about these things. Let's go over here. So as you can see, this is quite a bit different from the classic dark-skinned zucchini you're probably used to. That zucchini has a much thinner skin than this, which is much more in the sort of squash camp. It has a thicker but edible rind. There's two advantages to growing this kind of zucchini. One is that you don't have to worry about the seediness of this zucchini as it grows to this big size. You know, the dark zucchini, right? We, we're always worried that if we let them get too big, they become really spongy in the middle and very seedy. Well, this entire neck is seedless. All the seeds are down at this bulbous bit. So if you wanted, you could just cut this part off and then have all of this to eat. I have cooked this in a million different ways, um, but my favorite is to just cut this up into big pieces like this and put it on the barbecue. A Little bit of olive oil and at the end, you can even dress it with some balsamic dressing or whatever flavor you're going for. It's delicious. The other advantage of growing this kind of zucchini is that it has a very woody stem. It grows like a vine, and that means that those evil squash vine borers won't kill this rampicante zucchini. When all your other zucchinis are long gone, this one will be powering through. I've been harvesting at least two a week, and this one I just sort of let grow and grow just to experiment and see how big this thing gets. It is sort of like carrying a, you know, less than one year old around. <laughs> anyway, Rampicante, such a fun variety to grow. Give it a shot. Mm -hmm.